Hello and thank you for watching Direct Systems Tutorials. Today we're going through how to refund an overpayment. So you would go into Accounts Receivable, go to Transactions, Apply Cash, and then because we're issuing a refund, we want to remove cash from that AR record. So you want to enter a negative amount for the refund. Set the dates, do not apply, do not tick apply cash or adjust revenue automatically. Then click on begin. And then you want to find the AR number or file number that you want to work with. And so here we can see that this customer has a overpayment of $1,000. So we want to click on add. Then we want to put in the description, refund. In the payment field, we want to enter negative of the amount, 1,000, and then post payment adjustment. Now we can see that this customer no longer has a balance or credit. And so once we click on record, this record will be set so that once the refund check goes off, um, it's all reconciled. So we'll click on record. And then we stay in the apply cash to AR because we need to apply that amount to a journal entry now so that we can write a check for it. So we're going to select apply cash and we're going to find the refund that we have entered. Return, it will say returned cash and the, the customer name. Select, you will see that it automatically fills in the amount and then, and also the date. And then we want to make sure that we tick on journal entry. Click begin. And you will see here that there's this amount, but we need to make this a two-sided entry. We click on add. And this is where we will enter the GL number that this needs to be applied to. Click OK. And then you can see that we've got a, a full journal entry going on here. We want to enter the description as well. Um, and actually, we'll put in refund. And then click on record entry. Now, the important part about that is to remember the GL number that you put that to, because when you write the manual check in Bank Account Manager, you want to go in and make sure that the check is is attributing the same GL number. And so we'll go ahead and write the manual check. And it's for 1,000. And here's where we would enter the GL number so that it matches that is, if I typed it in correctly, which I didn't. There, now that looks better. And click on OK. And then you can print the check from there and record entry. And the refund is completed in the system. I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions, please let us know. And we're happy to create a video for it. Just let us know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.